uh, finally, I, I would just uh, like to, uh, a, a study that just uh, was in the news yesterday, the, the uh, headline is Renewable Energy Now the Cheapest Option for Americans. And this is when you factor in the social, the health, and the environmental costs. I'm sure most of you have seen the newspaper uh, front page today about the North Omaha coal plant. And uh, I would just uh, like to say that um, those of us who are in public health who were involved in the, uh, the legislation and the master uh, settlement for tobacco issues ran up against the same thing. Tobacco doesn't cause health problems, so on. We don't have all the evidence. There's a bunch of other things. The ironic part is, during that discussion, they were blaming you. Now, we're on the other side, and it's blaming other external factors. But it is a factor, and I appreciate that at least there's a date, a uh, potential date listed in that article today, and I commend you for that. Thank you. Thank you. John Pollock, 1412 North 35th Street, Omaha. Uh, I would like to uh, second what uh, David Corbin just said about uh, O-Power and the uh, article that's been distributed to you. Uh, the uh, weather outlook, obviously we've gotten past our, uh, our unusually late summer heat bump. Uh, Today we've got a strong cold front that's going to be moving through the area. It looks like uh, it'll hit Omaha early enough that we're in no particular danger of uh, uh, strong thunderstorms. However, in the south part of the district, it might have time to uh, heat up enough to uh, create a, a few problems. Uh, overall, we're going to continue uh, uh, actually a more active weather pattern above normal temperatures overall but we have a pretty strong storm track to the north of us and that means that it's going to drag through a succession of uh, stronger cold fronts and uh, uh, stronger temperature changes uh, from one period to the next as we go through. Uh, we have uh, an unusually north-south amplified weather pattern in the eastern Pacific. We're kind of downstream of that where things are attenuating a little bit, but it's still a uh, Oh, a, f a fairly strong weather pattern for this time of the year, often uh, mid-September to mid-October are the most settled times of the year. That may not be the case this year. Thank you. John, going to call you out. Is it going to rain today, yes or no? Uh, <laughs> already has. Already has. <laughs> will, will rain some more. About what time? Well, we've got uh, scattered showers now, better chance this afternoon just behind the cold front. How far south is it more likely? Than <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's important. Uh, I'm going to say uh, more likely to see stronger stuff down near Nebraska City, where that uh, cold front won't be until later this afternoon. I, I, have, south a, of me. I have another question more about climate. Um, what, what is your take on the flooding and, and, and the rain in Colorado? Uh, my take on that, first of all, by the time that water gets down the plat to us, it's uh, not going to flood. Uh, but my overall take is that we've had uh, in a, a, uh, what they call the southwest monsoon, which is when the uh, subtropical moisture, uh, in a, on a regular basis, it makes it into the southwest U.S. around this time of year. However, this time it made it all the way up uh, past New Mexico into Colorado and sat there. We did have a stagnant weather pattern for a while and that allowed this uh, basically tropical moisture which had made it over the Rockies to sit there and dump. That's a fairly unusual occurrence. Uh, and in fact when I look back at the other flood records they had all been in May and June which suggests that it was a combination in those cases of uh, uh, runoff from the mountains and uh, the kind of normal spring rains that we get. Uh, this one is pretty unusual but uh, overall we've been seeing more of these incursions of uh, tropical moisture uh, into the interior 
than we used to. The uh, 2011 flood was another example of that. And I would kind of expect that kind of thing to uh, continue to increase, although it's still a rare event. Thank you. Thank you. So here comes the bad news. So um, something that hasn't been mentioned since it happened, I noticed it was not at the executive meetings or in the press. You guys have got a really good press person, obviously. Uh, Moody's Investor Service has downgraded OPP Power District's uh, senior lien from AA2 from AA1 and supporting lien rating to AA3 from AA2, affecting approximately $1.5 billion of senior lien and $374 million of subordinate lien debt outstanding. The downgrade of the long-term ratings reflect OPPD's continuing challenges <clears throat> to operate a single-unit nuclear power plant, which is what we have been suggesting for the last two years. And, uh, and of course, it's extended hours for almost 2.5 years, indicating a higher business risk profile compared to other similarly rated power utilities. The rating could face downward pressure if the utility does not effectively manage its generation fleet as Fort Calhoun Station comes back online. Environmental upgrades at existing coal, older coal facilities are completed. And, of course, what we've been advocating since 1992, new renewable energy sources are integrated into the supply profile. So the solution to your pollution, of course, is renewable. It always has been. <sighs> now, what I find interesting is I had to apologize a couple meetings ago for something I said. Now, what I would like to know is when are this organization going to apologize for the downgrading of our debt? for having six inch uh, bolts in the ground instead of nine inch, for having rusty ball bearings which were supposed to be stainless steel but were not. Did we pay for stainless steel? Did we pay for nine inch bolts? I'm just wondering when is the management and this organization going to apologize to us for the downgrade of the debt and for the mishandling of the nuclear power plant for two and a half years. And it wasn't until the NRC stepped in that we found out all these other things were going wrong at the nuclear power plant. And this is under your management. So anyway, um, I just wanted to know, and of course the misinformation that happened when there was water in the buildings and everybody here said there wasn't. When is an apology for that going to happen? You know, I have that video on, on YouTube. It's there. You guys now have it on your um, minutes because I gave it to you last time. And I'm just wondering, you know, when does this organization just buck up and say, hey, we're sorry for the mismanagement and for these downgrades. That's okay. There is none. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Anybody else wish to comment? Seeing no one, this meeting is adjourned.